Today we'll review how to administer and manage your users within BeSecure. Once you have successfully logged into your console, search for your DevOps mode, expand your Administrator tab, and select your Accounts sub-tab. Here, you'll be able to administer a list of your accounts currently accessing your instance, with some contacts currently available inside your instance, group contacts available inside your organization, account profiles applicable to accounts you can create, and security profiles which you can deploy. To create a user, simply click List and allow the UI element to load. As you can tell, we have no sub-users currently existing on our account, so we can hit this new button, which loads us into our account details creation page. Here you can select your new user's username, which can be any string, including email addresses, such as the company scanning user for this example. You can define the password status, automatically generate a password, or assign a custom password. You can select a security profile applicable to this account, the account profile available to this account, the default language for this user, the time zone for this user, as well as the contact person that should be created for this new account. You have the ability to assign an existing contact or create a new contact outright. In this case, we will use our existing contact, assign a time zone in the US East, assign a default language of English, define the scanning account profile, define the security profile for our company, assign a password, and define the username. You also have the ability to notify the user of these account user details, but please be aware that this password will be transmitted in clear text in the email. For that, we recommend you generate a random password and select Expired so that the user will import a new password upon first login. We can then hit Create, this has now created a new user with default credentials as defined by his account profile. Account profiles define the default rights which are assigned to a user who is assigned this account type. In this case, we can review those account profile permissions by clicking on the Account Profiles tab. This will load a list of available account profiles used in your instance, as well as the ability to create new account profiles when applicable. You can select a profile and view its permissions by clicking the Permissions tab. Permissions tab defines what assets this user defined by this account profile has access to. As you can tell, currently this user is assigned no assignments and has no associations, so we must define some. First, we can define what ownership is assigned to this account profile. Currently, an administrator owns this account profile, and that does not need to be changed. You can also define associations, which in turn defines what subnet of the organization is available to users with this profile. In this instance, let's say that this profile should have access to all of the organization. We can simply move over all subsets of the organization to the Assign tab to grant access. Beneath that, we have the Ownership tabs, which allow us to define what ownerships this account profile has access to. For example, it can have ownership over individual accounts, individual contacts, organizations, web scans, scanning engines, and more. In case of contacts, I will assign this user group the right to edit and modify the scanning user contact. I will grant this organization the ability to modify, alter, or otherwise edit Unit C, workstations, and servers, as well as mobile work units. I will define that this user's account profile should have access to the mobile work unit scan and the server's web application scan, I will also define that this account profile should have access to the default scanner as well as the ability to edit and modify the scanning user account. I will then hit Modify to make the changes apply. Going back to my contact list and firing up my company contact scanning user account, you'll see that the account profile applied is the company scanning user profile which has the default permissions that we have just defined inside account profiles. And as you can tell, we can also assign custom per user rights that will allow this user to have individual access outside of that account profile. For example, I can grant access to a separate scanning engine in conjunction with the default scanner, which is made available by the account profile. So I have the ability to grant access to any of the other components available to the user. For example, I can also grant him access to the scan widget test that is also outside the scope of a scanning account profile. I can then hit Modify to make the changes apply. Next, Managing Contacts. Contacts define the addresses, phone numbers, and locations of the users to currently exist inside the system. 
In this case, we can alter the scanning user profile account contact by selecting the user from the list so that we can alter his email address, contact phone number, physical address, state, location, and country. We can also define what users inside the system have ownership over this contact. That ownership allows them to alter or modify this contact as needed. Security profiles define the security rights that are applied to these users. Security rights define things like password expiration, password length, password failure lockout, and password attempts allotted. You also have the ability to alter or add permissions to the scanning security profile so that the settings may be altered as needed. And that, in a brief summary, is how to create a new user, modify account profiles, review security profiles, and alter or set contact information in BeSecure.